Hey guys, this is Bring Back the Farm, and today I wanted to share with you what I've been working on. I've been building these cabinets on the side of my fireplace, and I just put in a little false wall there too, all the way up to the ceiling. Because, so this wall used to all be flat, and what I chose to do was let me back up. So, this section here used to be five foot across, and this section here is three foot across. And the problem is, is I wanted uniform shelves on this side and on this side. But I wasn't able to because this wall went all the way to, it was five foot across. And so I put in a two foot wall here going across. And that solved that problem. And then I decided to put in these custom cabinets that I'm building just from thinking about it. Nothing special or anything about it, but let me kind of sh show you what I'm doing. So here, you can see this is three quarter inch plywood. I want to say I paid $40, $45 a piece, which is a 4x8 section. So I did that, and I got a couple of them, and I had them cut, cut uh, the wood there at Home Depot. So this is, this is two foot, or this is two inches wide, this is three inches wide, this is three inches wide and this is three inches wide and then I have my shelves are actually um, these cabinets this is one inch down here and the whole thing is 30 inches tall and I just had them cut it to size and I just kinda I came home and I cut it a few more times to get it just right and the way I put this together is through pocket holes I bought a jig the Craig pocket hole jig and I'll share with you guys what that is in another video but I tell you that saved me a ton of time let me show you down here so here you can see I put I put pocket hole screws in here so it connects it I also glued it but I did that for that piece and I did it for this piece. I did it for all the pieces. And I apologize I didn't take pictures of each step, but I was just kind of thinking about it as I went through it, and I didn't want to give you guys bad a bad process just because I'm not um, I was kind of doing it on the fly. But the next step that I need to work on is and they put on a countertop here, which will be another section of plywood. And I'll do that on both sides. And then I'm gonna put plywood going up the sides, all the way to the top. I'm gonna to put it on the top and then down this side. I'm gonna put shelves in, right? And that, I'm trying to make it look nice, but so far I've invested about with the Craig tool jig, it's cost me 150 bucks to get as far as I've gotten. And I think I can do the rest of it with maybe another 150 bucks. So 300 bucks and I'll have custom shelves that will outline my fireplace going all the way up to the selling. But that's what I've been working on. Sorry I haven't made any videos lately. I've just, uh, I've been busy trying to get some of this stuff done. Cut out some holes here for my outlets on both sides. And I put this wall in. And there's all the stuff I used to do everything. But I am just trying my best with what I got. And I am. 
I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. I'm not an expert, but I, I'm not scared to try it, I think. I think that's what this homesteading idea, the self-reliance idea is all about, just being willing to try it. And you guys would be surprised with what you guys can do, too, and figure out. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool what you do, and as you try new stuff, you gain new skills. And as you do service for people, you gain more skills. And you're just blessed that way. So that's what I'm trying to do. And this is my front room. And I have a bunch of projects like this that are planned out for the winter. So stay tuned. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos and supporting me as I do this. I love the comments. They're all super positive. And I mean, I am a consumer of YouTube also. And I try, I, I watch a ton of YouTubes to try to learn how to do stuff, figure stuff out. And as, as I do that, I feel like I'm benefited from that too. So this is, this is it. This is what I'm doing. I put this fireplace in. By myself for the most part I had a neighbor who came out and hooked up the gas because he's a licensed uh, gas guy and then I had the company come out and put the fireplace in itself I should have put in a wood-burning stove but I didn't so I'm kicking myself but yeah this this right here I also had a buddy who came out and uh, helped me with the stonework which I was really grateful for but I, I say it turned out nice that was last year's project. You can see that TV is going to go away. We hate TV. We don't. We only watch movies. We don't do any, anything else. But I just feel like it sucks your life away. <laughs> Anyways, this is Bring Back the Farm. And, you know, I, I hope I can encourage someone out there to try it. Just try to do something on your own and you'll be amazed with how much you can do. But thanks for watching. This is Bring Beth Farm.